had shared in a previous video how Valvoline Restore and Protect stop excessive blow by on my engine within 500 miles of use. I've just crossed a thousand miles on this oil and today I'll be doing a check on oil consumption on the engine and since a number of you called for replacing the oil filter within this service interval, I'm going to be cutting it open today out of curiosity to see how much it has cut after a thousand miles on Valvoline Restore and Protect. Now let's get this. Just for full disclosure, this video isn't sponsored. I bought Valvoline Restore and Protect with my money. All the other parts and tools that you're going to see in the video are also not sponsored. All these were purchased with my money. Let's start by seeing how much oil this engine has used in a thousand miles. Before Valvoline Restore and Protect, this engine used a quart of oil in 5,000 miles. Give it the first wipe and out it comes again. And so far we're still at the full mark and that's good to know. Let's see if this continues to hold when I hit the oil change interval. Moving on to checking for deposits in the oil filter, I decided to try the no mess technique of puncturing the oil filter and allowing it to drain. To loosen the oil filter, I'm trying out this Walk Pro oil filter wrench which I bought recently. I like it because it's magnetic. I then introduce the wrench and it breaks the filter loose. Now to my disappointment, despite the earlier puncture, it still made a mess. Definitely not trying that again. And now to the fun part, cutting open the oil filter. After a number of spins, the cutter made light work of this Purolator boss. But honestly, I have to take a moment to appreciate the level of craftsmanship that Purolator put into this filter. I'm actually truly impressed, but this then meant that I was going to have a hard time freeing up the filter media. I have to say the adhesive used to apply these end caps is next level. Some intense minutes go by and I finally have the filter media free. This is actually pretty clean and perhaps it's down to Valvoline's claim that Restore and Protect actually holds deposits in suspension and that you shouldn't expect to see so much deposits caught in the filter media. In addition to this I also say that this engine was pretty clean from the get-go and I know this from when I took off the valve cover before adding restore and protect. That said the filter did catch a number of visible deposits like here, 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 here and here. In all, so far so good. I'm going to go ahead and keep this filter media for comparison when I reach my 5k oil change interval. All the tools I used in this video are linked down below. And just in case you missed how I got started with Valvoline Restore and Protect, be sure to click the link on the screen and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs> 